Addie Gorlin. I am one of 12 undergraduate students from Dartmouth College. We are traveling around the United States this summer on a school bus that is converted to run on waste vegetable oil. It's been an epic journey. It's been really, really fun. What we basically do is we stop and we park the bus. We talk to every American that we possibly can. Uh, we talk to the young, we talk to the old, we talk to the in-between, and we are talking to them about renewable energy, about America's relationship with energy, and talking to them about environmentalism and what they can uh, do to make a difference and change their personal lifestyle just to be a little bit more eco-friendly. We have been going for five and a half weeks now. Uh, we have about five and a half weeks to go. And we're going in one huge circle around the United States. Grease left over from the fried food to power our waste vegetable uh, powered engine. So we use that, we just pump it in, we ask politely to the restaurants if uh, we are able to use their waste vegetable oil to power our engine. And then uh, in addition, the bus is also pretty tricked out. We've got some solar panels on the roof. We've got five of them. That's 215 watts each. Uh, that is actually provides more than enough power in order to uh, power our electronics, which is our TV, our refrigerator, our freezer, our PS2. And then in addition, we also have enough power to charge our computers and our cell phones. So we're being able to live a sustainable lifestyle and live with all the amenities that we normally would as you know typical teenagers from 19 to 22 and we're having a great time doing it. Hi I'm Andrew Zabel and I'm the general manager of the Big Green Bus and I'm going to show you a little bit about our engine. So the unique thing about our bus aside from being a school bus that's painted green is the fact that it runs on waste vegetable oil. So what we do is all around the country uh, we stop at restaurants, diners, greasy spoons to pick up their waste vegetable oil which when we filter out the chunks of french fry or Chinese food or Mexican or what have you, um, once that's filtered out, we can actually run our bus on the waste vegetable oil as opposed to diesel fuel. So we're going green by example. So we try to lead folks um, to show them what's possible with a little ingenuity and elbow grease. The fact that we can pay nothing for fuel, have it pollute less and not be sending any money overseas um, to import a polluting substance. So if you come and take a look at the engine, you'll uh, see that the engine itself looks no different and that's because it isn't. Um, waste vegetable oil is a really easy solution for us, um, although maybe not so for so many other folks, but it's a way to communicate that alternative energy is a reality um, that people can utilize in their daily lives. When we pick up waste vegetable oil from a dumpster behind a restaurant, uh, the first step is using our gas powered pump to suck the vegetable oil out of a dumpster and from there it heads back to the filters on our bus which we filter down to about uh, one micron which removes basically all particulate matter from the vegetable oil that would gunk up the system, uh, the fuel system. From there the fuel moves in two of our holding tanks so we have about 220 gallon onboard capacity which is good for about 1500 miles of travel and from there when we start the bus up on diesel fuel the vegetable oil comes forward to the fuel lines where it takes the heat from the engine in the form of a heat exchanger with the coolant system where we heat the vegetable oil up to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit at which point it's hot enough to run through the engine just like diesel fuel would and so when we flip that switch you can go back to the tailpipe and you can smell fried food. One of the other neat things about the bus is that we have five 250 watt solar panels up top that power our entire electrical system on a sustainable basis. So those panels power a TV, a fridge, um, you know, PlayStation so that we can live life in style and fun. Uh, surround sound so we can hear what we're, uh, you know, playing on the road. And all of that electricity, like I said, is from our solar panels. Doing the bus has put a green lens on my life and I hope that when we talk to other people, we're putting a similar lens on their life. So no matter their profession, they can go about greening how they do it. If you're interested, you can find out more about us at www.thebiggreenbus.org. The Hippie Gourmet is brought to you by The Hippie Gourmet's Quick and Simple Cookbook for Healthy Eating. Available in stores wherever books are sold.